Good pasture syndrome is a very high yield topic for the licensing exams. Uh, think of it as affecting two organs, the kidney and the lung. So my attempt of drawing the kidney and lungs. And the clinical vignettes will commonly show two big symptoms that you need to uh, be aware of. Hemoptysis and hematuria, peeing blood and coughing up blood. And this uh, is essentially a pulmonary renal syndrome. And good pastures, the reason it happens is because it's autoimmune. It's an autoimmune syndrome. And the antibody involved is a very commonly uh, tested antibody. And it's called anti-GBM. And what does GBM mean? Well, GBM is glomerular basement membrane. And uh, that's the antibody that's responsible um, for the syndrome. And um, symptoms, well, we very briefly mentioned the two big ones, hematuria, which is peeing blood and hemoptysis. Now, remember it involves the kidney and the lung. Now, the lung, the reason you're getting hemoptysis is because this antibody-mediated disease is causing a hemorrhage of the al alveolar so that's why you cough up um, blood and the kidney is you're getting basically glomerulonephritis so those are the reasons you get these symptoms there's other symptoms involved of course difficulty breathing a uh, person can have fatigue but these are so nonspecific hematuria and hemoptysis are the two big ones that you'll need to uh, identify. Um, very quickly before I move on into the diagnosis, this uh, disease is an antibody mediated uh, syndrome. Now what's important to remember about these uh, types of disorders is that they're classified as type 2 hypersensitivities and Basically, any situation in which you have an antibody-mediated uh, toxicity is considered type 2 hypersensitivity. I wanted to mention that because they do test that on the licensing exams. So let's get into the diagnosis. Well, there's two things. The good news is you can actually measure that anti-glomerular uh, basement membrane antibody and that can be done as a blood test and then you can also do a renal biopsy and what the renal biopsy will show is the the damage um, the glomerulonephritis so those are the two things that are done uh, to diagnose the treatment involves three things the first is plasma exchange and the reason you're doing that is you're essentially trying to remove uh, the anti-GBM antibodies from the bloodstream. Uh, the next is uh, corticosteroids and the final uh, thing is an immunosuppressant drug such as cyclophosphamide and the reason that is given is to prevent the formation of any new um, antibodies of new antibodies ABS abbreviated. So that is essentially a quick rundown of uh, uh, good pasture syndrome. So let's look at some clinical vignettes and see what this looks like as a patient presentation. A 21-year-old man presents with cough, femur, and hemoptysis. Blood tests show significantly elevated BUN and creatinine, kidney damage. Immunofluorescent microscopy reveals a lin diffuse linear pattern of fluorescence along the basement membranes of alveolar septa and glomerular capillaries. Which type of hypersensitivity is associated with this disease? Now this is a very famous question. There's obviously elevated BU and creatinine shows that there's kidney involvement and then he's coughing up blood so most likely lungs are involved. And um, this is um, a classic uh, finding, this linear pattern here and that they tell you that the basement membranes are involved. So most likely you have this anti-GBM 
antibody that is involved. And this is this antibody mediated type of cytotoxicity is a type 2 hypersensitivity. I think I briefly mentioned that earlier in the video. And the next one, a 65 year old man develops oliguria and peripheral edema over a period of weeks. A urine analysis reveals hematuria and proteinuria. Examination of the urinary sediment reveals red cell casts. Radiologic and ultrasound studies fail to demonstrate an, an obstructive lesion. Renal biopsy shows many glomerular crescents. The presentation is most suggestive of which of the following conditions. Um, this question, you have the glomerulonephritis because of the red cell casts, and uh, that uh, basically is a component of good pastures. A lot of these uh, types of um, clinical vignettes will show the um, this this uh, statement or this finding, which is a crescent formation on the renal biopsy, and the renal biopsy is one of the things um, that you'd use to diagnose good pasture syndrome. And then finally, a 41-year-old man presents to the clinic complaining of chronic cough over the past four months, which has now been accompanied by hemoptysis. He denies smoking or any past medical history. Physical exam, his head and neck norm is normal. Lungs have diffuse bibasal rails, bi bilateral rails. Cardiac exam is normal. Lab findings reveal sodium of 142, potassium 4.3, chloride of 110, bicarb 24, BUN 39, and creatinine of 2.9. So it's got elevated um, kidney uh, lab test results. A UA reveals microscopic hematuria and 4 plus proteinuria, which are the following serologic blood tests would be most helpful in suspecting diagnosis. So he's definitely got the lung involvement, kidney involvement. So they're strongly kind of pushing you to try to figure out good pasture syndrome. And the blood test is anti-GBM antibody. And that would be choice A, anti-glomerular basement membrane antibodies.